okay here we have a question how do we declare valency of radical let's talk about this how do we declare valency of radical this is uh, one of the important question now I'm going to tell you about this let's say there are some uh, radical let's say first is carbonate okay let's take another also that is sulfate okay another one is hydroxide and let's say another one is nitrate I have taken some radicals and I want to tell you how do we declare valency of this radical valency of carbonate is 2 we know this sulfate is valency is 2 and hydroxide is valency is 1 and nitrate is valency is 1 but how it came now let's talk about this carbonate is uh, formula is CO3 now in this formula of this carbonate one carbon atom is combined with three atoms of oxygen and carbon valency is 4 and valency of oxygen is 2 but we have all together three oxygen atoms so 3 to the 6 is total valency we can say 6 carbon is electropositive but oxygen is electronegative so the sum of these two plus four and minus six is minus two lastly we got valency of carbonate it is two and this minus sign also says that carbonate when forms iron then it can be represented by this way it means here we have two excess of electrons two electrons now next part look at the sulfate what about sulfate sulfate is formula is SO4 and sulfur its valency is 2 or 4 or 6 at this time valency of sulfur is 6 and valency of oxygen we know its valency is 2 there are four atoms of oxygen that's why two fours are eight here total valency becomes eight sulfur is electropositive but oxygen at this time sulfur is electropositive but oxygen electronegative that's why if we take sum of these two then plus six minus eight gives minus two this 2 represents valency of sulfate is 2 and minus sign says that this is electronegative radical and if it forms iron then if it forms iron then this sulfate can be represented this way because there are two excess of electrons now let's talk about hydroxide hydroxide its formula is OH and valency of oxygen is 2 but valency of hydrogen is 1 oxygen is electronegative hydrogen is electropositive that's why sum of these two is minus 1 so we can say that valency of hydroxide is 1 and this negative sign indicates that it is electronegative radical and is ion appears like this I mean to say ion is represented by OH minus it has one excess of electron in the same way nitrate is formula is NO3 nitrogen at this time valency is nitrogen 
valency may be 3 or 5 at this time its valency is 5 and oxygen its valency is 2 and there are 3 atoms of oxygen that's why 3 2 is 6 so the total valency becomes 6 nitrogen is electropositive but oxygen is electronegative so the sum of this 2 plus 5 minus 6 becomes minus 1 it means 1 is the valency of nitrate and this negative sign indicates that it is electronegative radical and its ion can be represented this way this way we can declare the valency of different radicals